And now a time for our prayers. Keeping our hearts and minds open, let's pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, for peace in our world. We pray for all those who are searching for peace, and for those who are threatened with violence or warfare. We pray that people will realise we have more in common than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace to the leaders of the Christian Church and all religions, that they may provide us with guidance and spirituality. And we ask you to open up our ears, our minds and our hearts. We may listen to those words and act on them, and in doing so, might show to others empathy, compassion and kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, whether there is disagreement to lead people to choose reconciliation. Lord, look down our troubled world and give direction and understanding to all those who have influence among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering from the effects of storms, hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, droughts or fires, and particularly for our brothers and sisters on St. Vincent suffering from the volcano. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or are suffering, either from the effects of coronavirus or other illnesses, and all those who devote so much of their time to care for them. Lord, we ask you to look down on those who are burdened with difficulties in their lives, for those seeking solutions to problems in their lives, and for all those who right now are burdened with anxieties or economic hardship, or who have enormous change or upheaval in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have written departed, and those lost loved ones have an anniversary or birthday at this time. May their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts. For all these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptised into one body and have all been made to drink of the same spirit. My sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you.